So we all agree that gathering data is a really important part of how we teach our classes and how we help the kids understand what they're learning. One really easy way to gather data instead of walking around with your clipboard is using Google Forms. So it's real easy. You go into your Google Drive, you open a new form, and essentially when you start, you get a blank page. This is a form I've already put together for my AP students. You title it, and then you start putting in your questions. Um, for each question, you have the opportunity to choose a specific kind of question. This one is just a text box. I asked them to fill in their name. As you move through each of the questions, you could do check boxes like this question, long form answers, which will give you paragraph length opportunities, more check boxes. And as you can see, as we go through this, I asked them specific questions about strengths that they feel that they're developing, challenges they feel they're experiencing, and feedback that they've received on their work. Then specifically, I have all the common core standards that we're addressing at this time that specifically address the things that we've been working on. First, they talk about the ones that they feel that they're meeting or exceeding, and then the ones that they need to continue to work on. As we go through, you could do a multiple choice question as well. Do you feel like you're getting enough support? It's a question I always ask them all the time. What kind of help are they asking for? And then I also ask them to ask questions or set goals. Now, some of the things that I love about Google Forms is the way that you get the data back to you. If you go into responses, the first way you get it is in this spreadsheet where the student's name comes up on the side because that was the first question I asked. And then each one of the questions populates into this form. When you get it, it will likely look like this. And then you just clean it up to make sure that it does what you want it to. So one of the things here is that it says discuss challenges that you're having in this class. One student said some challenges I am facing would be about writing things that have meaning. Sometimes when I write, I feel like there is little to no depth in it. I want to try to work on that to allow myself to feel like my writing means something. Um, feedback that I have been given would be to add more depth in my writing. Like in my house on Mango Street essay, one of my paragraphs lacked depth and I should have expanded on it. I notice that sometimes I skim over very important things when I need to be writing. So this student has a great awareness of how she's doing in the classroom. Um, again, it goes on to answer the standards question. And then when it comes time to explain answers or ask questions, um, she sets these goals as well. One goal I have is to add depth. That's one thing that she wrote. Another goal I have is knowing how to analyze properly. So basically what's going to happen is after I read these pieces of data a student gives me, I'm going to sit down with them and have a conference and we are going to discuss strategies to expressly deal with the goals they want to set. Now, another way that the forms will provide feedback is in a summary of responses, which will give us answers to every question. Now, when you don't do the specific um, text boxes or paragraph boxes, when you do multiple choice or check boxes, they give you graphic responses, which I, I love. So I have the amount of students who answered and the percentage of them who feel a certain way. So this was a check box, comes back as a bar graph. And the multiple choice questions, as you can see, these, these are the standards. This was another checkbox question. And then I get a summary with percentages underneath. Which really helps me get a nice snapshot. Now, no student said that they needed work on comprehension. That seems to be something that everybody gets right now. Student comprehends elements of literary texts. So that's not something I really need to spend time on in class anymore. Whereas when I look at this, three people of the eight who have answered so far said that they need to deal with rhetorical analysis and planning. Um, evaluating and revising text was another one. Editing and present technically sound text. And then here it's good to know that of the folks who answered, all of them feel that they're being supported. Um, as far as the ones who are asking for help, everybody is either asking once or multiple times a week or daily, but nobody has said that they have never asked for help. So I could also infer that I am creating an environment that is easy for people to ask. Um, there's lots of great 
data that I could use here. Now, when I sit down with the students, I will go back into this response form and at the end, I will add a notes column here. And then I will fill in the data that we talk about. What was the specific strategy we discussed? Um, what plan of action? When are we going to check in again? What can I expect them to do? Google Forms has really been a lifesaver for me. Um, I used to walk around the classroom and take lots of notes all the time, and I'm not really sure what I was seeing was was even accurate. I mean, I spoke to them, but there's really so many. There's only so many kids you can really speak to in one class period, and by the time the next day rolls around there's just so much that changes from day to day. So this is a great way to gather data, prepare for conferences, kind of check back against student work, and also this helps students start to plan their reflections, plan goal setting. It's an all-around great way to do it. And you don't just have to do it for um, data collection and self-assessment. You could use it for testing. You can use it to evaluate yourself. I have students evaluate me in classes at the end of the year for feedback that I want to make my classes better. Anyway, I hope you found this video really, really useful. How do you guys use Google Forms in your class? I would love to hear.